Hey guys, and welcome to another review of the Gundam Universe line. This time we're taking a look at the Gundam EZ-8. And if you want this figure or other Gundam Universe line figures, you can go to NewTypeHQ.com and if this is going to be your first time using this promo code, just type in slash Krosama and you can get yourself 10% off. And be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Gundam Universe reviews. So let's get on to the review. Now we take a look at the front box art first, it looks great. I am a huge fan of the overall aesthetic of the 8th MS team anime because it's all really rugged, dirty, grounded, and it's just kind of like my cup of tea. Now I do want to give a little appreciation for the illustration on the front because this is a very beautiful illustration. I love this pose, it's just mm, spicy. And of course on the side you do see the EZ-8, and on the back, you are going to have that action articulation. You're going to see all the different movements it can go into. And then a nice little pose right there and a pose directly in the center. And also with this wave, you're going to have the Wing Zero EW, which I have reviewed. And you're also going to have the Strike Gundam, which I'm not going to review. And here's everything that's going to be coming within the packaging. Now looking at the MS first, you're going to see awesome, awesome details. I love this it just looks so gorgeous right out of the box i was playing with it for a little bit and i must say i'm pretty satisfied now for colors it is going to look really good i love that color blue they went with and you're gonna have the nice backpack i'm i'm pretty upset that it doesn't actually come out and you don't get a container but it still is good for what it is now we're taking a special notice at the chest, you are going to have the 81 decal placed on there. And then the head sculpt is looking so good with the red for the uh, face and then the little camera. You got the eyes. It all looks really, really well done. Like they actually put a lot of care and work into this particular figure. Now for articulation, we are going to have a ball joint for the neck, but it's not really going to move too much. For the arms, the shoulders can move a little bit by themselves. And you do have a ball joint and socket inside here, but with this kind of like bulky size of this mobile suit, it's kind of hard to get any kind of really decent articulation here for the shoulder, and the arm is only going to be able to go up about pretty much 90 degrees. Very squeaky bicep twist. Two points of articulation for the elbow. Ball joint for the wrist. For the waist, it can go forward a little bit, but it's not really going to be able to stay there. It's just going to kind of go back to where it was has a little bit of a side to side movement, but honestly, this point of articulation is kind of useless. It does move back and forth a little bit, which can actually stay in place. All the skirts are gonna be pretty much on the same type of like peg system, but they're not moving about that much. Same ball and socket joints for the hips, so yeah, this is gonna be a little restricted just because of these uh, skirts. Rotation at the hip. Two points of articulation for the knee, and it's only gonna go about nine degrees. Ball joint for the ankle inside here, as well as inside the foot, so you can get a good range of movement, and with this little open space, you can get some pretty good ankle pivots. Now, even though it doesn't have the best articulation, honestly, I'm fine with that, because the 8th MS team suits are pretty much blocky, and they're very slow. They don't really have dynamic kind of poses in the first place, so, being able to just like stand there and look really menacing is kind of all I really want when it comes to this series. Now for hands, he is going to come with two fists, a right-handed trigger finger, and a left open hand so that way he can grip the beam sabers. And then we have the machine gun, which looks really good. Nice uh, details overall. The main problem I'm gonna have with this is that for the shoulder buttstock is pretty much is not gonna have the uh, space in between that. It's one solid piece and it does not rotate. And also the hand over here does not rotate. It's just a solid piece, but nonetheless, it does look really good.
And next we're going to have is going to be the shield, which looks amazing. I absolutely love it. It needs to be weathered, though. It needs, like, maybe some bullet holes or maybe just, like, a bunch of scratches and engravings. It's going to look amazing. Maybe even, like, you know, mess up this uh, decal a little bit. But it's going to have the eighth decal right there. But underneath, not too much going on. So, unfortunate, but it still looks good. Maybe we'll get two beam sabers with the beam saber effect parts and they just slide right into the open hand. And if you want to plug them in on a stand, you are going to have a connection piece and it's just going to plug in right there. Now for scale, it is pretty much the same size as all the other Gundam Universe, 6 inches, and definitely taller than the high grade GM guard. So for my final thoughts, honestly, I think this is a great figure. It doesn't have uh, the best articulation, nor does it have the best accessories, but what it does have is shelf presence. I think it looks really great, and it's going to look good with the overall 8th MS team kits I have, which is essentially just the ground Gundam at this point. But nonetheless, I do think it's a great figure to have just because it looks beautiful. It has great details. The colors are very just good for what it is. And it might just require you to detail it up with some weathering or just whatever else you're trying to do to it. Other than that, it does have limitations such as the lack of good accessories and the articulation is pretty piss poor. But I, I think I can just look past it to be honest. I think it's a still a $25 grand purchase in my opinion but that's it for me guys thank you all for watching if you did like this review make sure you comment like and subscribe and if you want to see more of the gundam universe line just let me know in the comment section below and i'll definitely try to get to them other than that i'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye